What's up everybody, I'm here bringing you a video guide on how to beat the game only fighting the 15 required battles, I think. So, let's hop on into it. It's gonna be fun and... <sighs> Not this first part though. So, this first part of the game, it's mainly just cutscenes and text. And you can't skip any of it. So, you want to have to keep doing a little bit of mashing. So, the story here, your dad's sick, he's in bed, and we're about to go find a herb for him to cure him. And once our mom reaches the stove, we can actually start moving. And we're going to go to the menu, we're going to turn auto run on counter rate off so we won't get no ran random encounters throughout the game which is going to save so much time all right so now here's another little cutscene we're gonna meet our second character, Elena. Yeah, that's her. Uh, she's like a half elf or something. I don't know. So, what we're gonna wanna do after this text, we're gonna go straight back to our house. up the dagger. We're actually never going to use this item, but we have to have it to move on with the story. So, run in and get it. Next, we're going to head north towards the end. There's a little treasure chest in here I want to get. A little something else to note. Uh, since we're only fighting the required battles, we're going to want to pick up as much treasure as we can along the way mainly for gold so we can buy weapons and armor and shit later on down the road all right and here we're in elena's house and this is her dad we had to get her bow not for sure what's being said here Here we're gonna do a little tour around the town. Actually, I'm gonna go back behind here and do a little. Try to do a little maneuvering to get this chest. I don't know. There we go. All right, and there's one chest in this house. Her. So we're going to want to stop by the armor shop down here, and we're going to buy an equip, well, maybe, buy an equip two feathers. Now the feathers are important because they're going to actually half the damage the first boss does to us, which is really nice. Here we got a gold bar we're gonna pick up and our last pit stop in town we're gonna go to Ed's house, our third character. If you notice all three of the main characters are really young. I think they're 15 or 16 or younger than that. It's kind of weird, but yeah, that's whatever. And there's Ed's little robot, Losa. It's 
So Losa can be a huge help in casual play because she has a radar, which gives you a mini map and shows you where the treasure chests are. But I already know where they're at, so we're not gonna stop it. Put the radar on. All right. So up here we're gonna go to the top. Trigger a little cutscene. This guy. And he's gonna give us a key we're gonna use in the forest. A little bit later. Before we leave here, we're gonna get this chest. It has iron armor in it. And then we're gonna go to the bunny force, I like to call it. Because, well, there's two chests here we're gonna pick up, but we're actually here to play this mini game for this guy. And all we have to do is pretty much capture all the bunnies in this forest. It's pretty easy. We want to do this because the guy actually gives you quite a few valuable items we're going to either use or sell later. So, a good time for this is 7 seconds left, so hopefully we can, we can make it. It's looking pretty good right now. This bunny usually causes problems, but I got him. And we got an 8, wow. It's really good. Alright. We're just coming here to get this one chest. I'm going to leave. farm. We got one chest on the farm we gotta pick up. Alright, there's a chest all the way to the south here. It has an iron sword in it. I'm gonna grab it. chest over here has a feather in it. We're gonna grab it also. That's why we didn't buy three feathers at the armor shop because we picked up one there. And here's the chest uh, we needed that key for at the headquarters. It contained a vaccine. Vaccine's actually an accessory that immunes you from poison. So we're gonna need it later. Alright, so the case is pretty straightforward. We're gonna pick up a few chests here. There's a couple you're gonna see we're not gonna pick up. hidden walkway down here. Grab the magic gun, which is an accessory. A little cutscene here. Pretty much saying everything around us is poisonous. Here. here we got two chests we're going to pick up. Conveniently right beside each other. Alright, that chest right there we're not going to pick up because it contains metal coins and they're not worth anything, so. Alright, here coming up on our first boss battle we want to equip all our weapons and stuff
So this first boss is really easy. And, um, I don't know, there's really not... There's an easy strategy for him. First we're gonna go to the menu and speed things up just a little bit. Alright. So the first two rounds you wanna just have everybody gather. to use his fireball spell. And then from here out you just want to attack the boss and he'll die pretty fast. See if we didn't have those feathers that boss is hitting really hard. Down here, we're going to hit a cutscene. Everybody's going to split up. And we're just going to go straight and get the herb we came for. Which is just north of here. Down here, mash through some more text. And we go get Ed. This is going to take us back to town. Where we give the herb we just got to the dad. Like I said, the first part's just mainly cutscenes and text. And there's nothing you can do about it. So, now we're coming up on my favorite part of the run, which is the opening credits. And I hope you enjoy them as much as I do, because, you know, it's amazing. It's unfortunate you can't skip these, so we're going to have to watch this.
Alright, so we're done with that. Got another little cutscene here. You know, dad's feeling better. Kids coming in. They want you to go with them. They ain't gonna tell you until we go to Ed's house. Have a little powwow right here. They want to go explore the cave again, so... That's where we're gonna go. So, just go... Straight back to the cave entrance. Brace yourselves for the best chase scene in any game ever made. So pretty much Los is going haywire and we're chasing her. And she's going to open up a new area of the forest. Which is called the altar. So we're gonna grab this chest. Just got some gold coins in it. Another little cutscene here. So we get teleported inside the altar. There's actually a treasure chest hidden here. I'm going to show you where it's at. Right after another little short cutscene. Alright. So it's right here. And that little pathway down to the south is actually the exit. You wouldn't believe how long it took me to find that first time I ever played this game. So we got another little cutscene here. The guards see us get teleported out of the altar and escort us back to town because we're in trouble. Here's Elena and her dad. Her dad pretty much hates her because... I don't know. She shouldn't have been out exploring. She's actually deciding that she's going to run away. Our parents ain't really mad at us, they're just like, yeah, whatever. You didn't do nothing really bad. So 
But here's Elena telling us she's gonna run away and we can't stop her. And there she goes. So next morning, you know, we're worried about Elena, so we're gonna go tell Ed what happened. Apparently Ed's an orphan. I don't know. You never see his parents in the whole game. And he's gonna gather up his stuff and... We're off to find Elena. So... That's pretty much it for the first part of this game. Um, we're actually going to go up here and save. The second part of this game, I'm going to find Elena, fight two more battles, and hopefully you found this video helpful. I guess until next video, peace.